Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to The Prospective. Here, I help you to step up your content creation journey with the best tools, in-depth gear reviews, and tips and tricks to make your workflow more smoother and efficient. If you are a content creator, you know the right tools can make a huge difference in your workflow. Today, I'm going to walk you through 10 amazing apps for your MacBook that are perfect for content creators like me and like you. Whether you are editing your videos, organizing your life, or just trying to stay productive, I have got you covered in this video. Stick around till the end for some honorable mention that you may don't want to miss. First up, let's start with Alfred. This app is absolute game changer when it comes to productivity. Think of it as a supercharged spotlight. It takes everything that spotlight does and make it even better. With Alfred, you can launch apps, find files, do quick calculations and even sorts on the web all with just a few keystrokes. It's like having a personal assistant that keeps your hands on the keyboard and make your workflow smoother. And the advantages of Alfred, it saves ton of time by making a navigation lighting fast. You can also create a custom shortcut, making it highly flexible. It's supercharged, lightweight, and it won't slow down your system. Some of the more advanced features requires a power pack, which is an add-on feature. But overall, Alfred helps to keep your hands on the keyboard and gets you where you need to go fast. Next up is DaVinci Resolve. If you are into the video editing business, but not ready to drop the cast on the Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, this tool is for you. DaVinci Resolve is the ultimate alternative. It's free and packed with the professional grade tools that makes it powerhouse for creators. Advantages, it offers industry standard tools for color corrections and audio editing. Multi-platform support means you are not just limited to the Mac. You can use it on Windows and Linux too. It is constantly updated, so you are always getting the latest features and improvements. Disadvantage of DaVinci Resolve. The learning curve is pretty steep, especially for beginners in video editing. If you are on an older Mac, it might not run as smoothly. But if you are serious about getting into the video editing, DaVinci gives you a top tier tools for unbeatable price of nothing. And next up is the CapCut. You might know as this tool as a popular mobile video editor tool. But the desktop version is just as impressive. It's perfect not only for the social media creators, but also for getting professional grade output. And advantages? It has a simple and user-friendly interface. So you can dive right into it without a steep learning curve. It's great for making social media and YouTube contents with the features that make editing quick and easy. Plus it offers fast exporting, even if you are working on an older or less powerful machine. And the disadvantages? It's not as feature packed as DaVinci Resolve, so it might not have all the bells for more complex project. You might find a bit limited when it comes to the professional grade editing features, or you may need to have a paid add-ons to get a professional grade output. So if you are into creating quick social first content or need a tool that can still deliver a polished look, CapCut could be what you are just looking for. For all the audio geeks out there, let's talk about Audacity. This is must have tools for podcasting or voiceovers. This tool is a total game changer. Advantages of Audacity, it's an open source and completely free. That means you can get access to a tons of features without spending a cent. Audacity is loaded with the professional tools for recording, editing, and mastering your audio. Whether you are cleaning up your background noise or mixing a tracks, it got you covered. It's a perfect for a variety of audio needs, whether you are working on a podcast, adding audio to videos, or just fixing up your audio tracks. Disadvantages? The interface looks a bit old fashioned and isn't the easiest to navigate, especially if you are new to audio editing. It don't have as many effects and plugins as some of the paid software, so you might miss out on some advanced features. But honestly, for a free tools, the value you get with Audacity is hard to beat. If you are doing any sort of audio work, it's worth checking out. Next up is OBS Studio. If you are into streaming, podcasting, or screen recording, OBS Studio is the definitely best option. And the advantages? It is great for live streaming on platform like Twitch or YouTube, making it popular twice for many content creators. You get lots of customization options, so you can set up your recording or streaming exactly how you want it. As an open source tool, OBS has a big community behind it. So there is a plenty of supports and helpful resources available. Disadvantages. There is a bit of learning curve if you are new to streaming or recording. It might take a little while to figure out how to use 
it's all feature some mac users has reported bugs and crashes so it might always not work perfectly for everyone but overall obs is a no-brainer if you want a powerful free tool for recording or live streaming without any limits next up is canva if you are not a photoshop expert canva has you covered for all your graphics designing needs whether you need a youtube thumbnails instagram post or just about any graphics canva's drag and drop features make it super easy it offers tons of free templates to help you get started quickly so you don't have to design from scratch the simple drag and drops interface means you don't need any design skills to create great looking graphics just choose a template add your content and you are good to go disadvantages some of the best templates and features are locked behind the paywall and it is not as customizable as professional design tool. Canva is great for anyone who is looking for quick professional looking designs or graphics without any fuss. And next one is Notion. Notion is my personal favorite when it comes to the productivity and organization. It's like a Swiss army knife for managing your life, whether it's for your content calendar, scripting, or just a general to-do list. Advantages? It is fully customizable with the templates for almost anything you can think of. So you can set it up exactly how you need. It has a collaborative features, meaning you can share your workspace with your team or co-creators, making it easier to work together. And another great advantage of Notion is it syncs across all devices. So you can access your work, whether you are on a computer, tablet or phone. Disadvantages? The learning curve for Notion is a bit steep because it is so flexible and packed with the powerful features. It might get some time to get used to of everything. The mobile app isn't as smooth as the desktop or web version, so you might find a bit clunky when you are on the go. If you are juggling between the multiple projects or wearing a bunch of hats, Notion will definitely help you to keep all together. Now let me tell you about LocalSend, a great tool to send large files across all devices. If you work with a big audio and video files, you know it can be tough to find the way to share them. It is available on Windows, Mac, Android and iPhone. Just upload your file and send it right away. No need to create any accounts. It lets you send much larger files than any other free services. Disadvantages it has fewer features than other premium service like WeTransfer Pro, so you might miss some extra features. But if you are looking for a simple and a free way to transfer large files, LocalSend Local is a great app. Let's talk about PDF Gear. If it deals with lots of documents, you're gonna love this app. It's a free tool for editing, merging, and converting PDFs. It has a bunch of features around the PDF. It allows you to sign, annotate, and merge PDFs. Disadvantage. The free version has the limited features compared to the paid alternatives. For basic PDF management, this is a must have on your Mac. Last but not the least, let's talk about Tempbox, a handy temporary email service. In the today's content creation boom and the era of AI tools, this tool can be lifesaver when you want to try out new services without giving away your main email address. Advantages? It helps you avoid spam emails and keeps your personal email on clutter. It is deal for signing up for free trials or downloading resources without using your primary email. You can start using immediately without needing to create an account or login. Disadvantage? Email aren't safe for long, so it's not suitable for ongoing communication. So if you are exploring new AI tools or signing up for various services, Tempbox is a simple and effective way of managing your emails without cluttering your main inbox. So it's time for honorable mention. Before wrap up, I want to give a quick shout out that you might be interested to check out. Arc Browser with Perplexity. If you are tired of same old browsing experience, this one is for you. Arc is the new kind of browser that reimagines how you interact with the web. And, and, and. With Perplexity AI integrated, you can ask the question directly in the browser and get quick insightful answers without jumping around from tab to tab. It is perfect for multitaskers or content creators doing heavy research. Next up in the list is Flow. Flow is designed to keep you on the task and in the zone. If you are like me and sometimes you find hard to focus, Flow helps you break your workday into manageable chunks. It also got a Pomodoro style timer built in, allowing you to work in a burst with short breaks in between, which can boost your productivity. And next up is the portal. Ever get distracted by the noise around you? Portal is an app that brings an ambient sound escape. Whether you need a sound for crackling fire space or a rainforest downpour, Portal has you covered. It is a great way to create a perfect working atmosphere, especially in those long editing sessions. And the next up in the list is Photopia. It is a browser-based Photoshop alternative that is completely free. It is perfect for quick photo editing. If you want an advanced image editing tool other than Canva, Photopia is a solid choice. So there you have it guys. 
Those are my top free apps for content creators using Mac. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you are new here, subscribe for more content. And let me know on the comment box below what free apps you can't live without. Until next time, keep creating. And I'll see you in the next video.